Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Langan and today we're going to do a question that involves integers. The problem itself has a whole bunch of numbers in it and what you have to figure out is what is it that you need to answer and also how do you write out the equation and get the information out of it and write the equation with integers. Let's look at this uh, problem and as I read through it, you, can, you will notice a whole bunch of numbers. I want you to think about what numbers will you use. After I read through it, then we'll go through what numbers should be used and you can see if you were right. Okay, here we go. Sam, the submarine sailor, submerged 17 meters below sea level yesterday at noon. He resurfaced at precisely 3 p.m and then immediately dove 30 meters. At 6 p.m., he submerged a further 45 meters. At midnight, he dove another 55 meters. Where was Sam the submarine sailor right before midnight? Hmm. Okay, so let's first of all look at really what's happening here so there's an understanding. When it says submerged, that means that, let's pretend that this is the submarine and this is the top of the water. If it's submerged, that means it went below the water, so it's going down. If he dove, he goes even further. If he resurfaced, that means he went back to the surface of the water. So the submarine is going back and forth, and you have to find out where he was, and it says right before midnight. So, right before midnight, where was he? And you want to know where. So, there's a lot of different information. We've got the timing, which I did in blue, and then you've also got the where, which is the place of the submarine, which I did in orange. Now, let's look at, I'm only going to underline the where. So, in other words, where is that submarine? How far up and how far down did it go? So that was the numbers that you should have been looking for. And is that what you thought was important? I hope so. If not, then you now know that's what you want to find. So let's find out where he was. So submarine um, Sam submerged 17 meters. Now this is important information. Submerged is important because it says the submarine went down. And then 17 meters is also important. So down 17 would be minus 17. That says, and it says below sea level. Now that's also important. Sea level is considered to be zero. So you have zero and you have a minus 17. Notice this doesn't have a plus zero or anything. It's just zero. Okay, and that's where you're going to start. So I'm going to start the equation down here. So far I have zero minus 17 because he's submerged. 17. Yesterday at noon. Now that is a timing, so I'm going to um, just underline that with blue to show that there's a timing of um, at, at just before noon. And I'm just going to get another blue one here so that we can, that's a little better, there you go, okay. Now he resurfaced at precisely 3 p.m. Is there any information about where he was? Yes, there was resurfaced means he came back up. So he went down 17, came back up to the surface, which means that he would have had to come up 17 to resurface, to come back to that zero. Now at precisely 3 p.m., well that's the timing, okay, so let's just underline that with blue, and then immediately dove 30 meters. So if he dove 30 meters, that means he went down 30 meters, so that's minus 30, so let's put that here. And then at 6 p.m., well that's a time, he submerged, so in other words he went down, so this is a minus, and another 45 meters. So in other words you have minus 45, and you put that here, minus 45. And then it says, at midnight he dove another 55 meters. Okay, so this is midnight, at midnight. He dove another 55 meters. Now, be careful, I'm gonna write this in here. That would say that he would, dove is minus 55. So you would put that at the end. Now let's read the question and see what it says. 
The question says, where was Sam the submarine sailor right before midnight? Oop, at midnight he went down here. So we're not going to use that. That is a red herring because it says right before midnight, at midnight he dove, but before that it would have, he would have been here, wherever that was at that time. So let's find out where that was before midnight. So before midnight, he had um, 17 minus 17, which is zero. So he's submerged. He came back up. Then he went down 30 and another 45, which gives you negative 75 meters. So your final sentence answer isn't he is negative 75 meters. What you say is Sam was 75 meters below sea level um, just or right before or just before, right before midnight. Okay, so don't put a negative there. He was 75 meters below, so he was down here. And it was right before midnight, so that impo that's important information. Because at midnight, this, this is a, a red herring here. At midnight, he dove 55 meters. You didn't need to know what he did at midnight. You need to know what happened before that. Okay, and, um, and then, um, and the other piece of information is that I wanted you to talk about was the sea level is the zero. And that's like saying the anchor. When you had a date questions, you had the anchor according to that date. But for the sea level, when you're going from the sea level and you're coming back up and forth, we say that's the anchor and we have everything according to that top of the sea, like where that is. Okay, we don't say the sun is the anchor. We say the sea level is. That's it. Have fun with this. Thanks.